What's good, everybody? Glitcher Bro 23 here. Hey, yo, we're back with some rage against the machine. We got my check. We got my check. This is from. This is actually from a different album. Um, of rages. So I'm really interested to hear it. I really am. Um, what, I wonder if this is like the most appropriate, <laughs> like lyric video, that I can find. It is the first one. It, it, yeah, it is the it is the first one. So yeah, we'll we'll stick with this one. But listen, man, we haven't done a rage reaction in a while. So if you guys want some more rage against the machine, y'all guys let me know in the comment section right now. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. I think literally the last rage like video that I've done, it was a review of Down Rodeo. It was like a concert at like some like at like some like place in Chicago, bro. Y'all got that? Y'all for a review of a track? Y'all guys got that sucker up in view so quickly. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you Rage fans for that. But look, enough talking. Let's get into it. Okay, see the other guy was very He spelled rebel right there. He spelled rebel right there. If you look at the lyrics, he spelled rebel. Ah, oh, snap here. Man, I'd be forgetting I could be going to history class when I listen to Rage. So he's obviously talking about um, slavery, like working in factories and stuff like that, and running from police right there at the end. But what specific event is he talking about? Because you know Rage always going back in time with their tracks. You know they always going back in time when they do one of these tracks. So, like, what, what event is he talking about here? Because there's always a specific event, like... I'm pretty sure one of the reactions we've done was about the Spanish-American War at some point. I don't know which one, but I remember one of them being about that. Y'all Rage fans, let me know. taxes it sounds like quicker than a fed cash that company checks come with the fire only Marley could catch There's no way he's referencing Bob Marley with that, is there? Ain't no way he's referencing Bob Marley with that, right? I'm just gonna check this out. He really was referencing Bob Marley with that. He really was referencing Bob Marley with that line right there. 
If I didn't look up just Marley on Google, I would have not even known that. I really would not even known that. Let's go back to that. Let's let's go back. Let's go back to that. Hey, can you chill out down there? Come on, buddy. You're okay. So this be the flame of the cellar. Beware. Nameless cold millions gasping for air. Those naked are in wageless now screaming with cages. Within cages. So he's just really talking about like it has to just homeless like like homeless people or like people with no rights who have literally nothing and it most likely is probably slaves who literally are have nothing like and if and if it goes back to like the factories if it goes back to the factories how they're saying first of all they're not making any money they they're work being forced to work for free they're literally be trapped in factories to where, like, fact in factories back then, like, you could get so sick so quickly, you know? Like, the death rate just from being in a factory is insane. And like he's saying over here, they're working for, with, no, they're working, like, they're scared of the flames, but also they're, they literally got nothing. They got no money, they got no clothes, they got no clean air. Like, they're literally being put in labor until they die. I think that's what he's trying to say with this. I really do think he, that's what he's trying to say with this. say just from the instrumental itself this is a lot more like I think simpler compared to some uh, Rage's like other work you know like even the instrumental the instrumental usually is insane and we got um, Zach over here yelling off the top of his lungs you know like but the instrumental so far is a lot more like calmer you know and it's and the storytelling that he's going with on this one is it's like more straight, like it's more straight through, you know. So I just had to point that out. I didn't even realize that he's saying rock and roll in the background. You know, and that goes to the chorus where he's like saying he's like the anti shocker, you know. Oh. All type of Dixon Adam here. There is some more, right? I believe there's still, yeah, we still got like a like a whole minute. I hope there's more. Hope there's more. Hope there's more of this. Here's the history monologue right here. The master flew in this torn nation, and this torn nation. And then the next line he mentions congregation, which I'm not really familiar with that word. A group of people assembled for religious worship. Politics to 
robbing hold down your zone. So those who give the thieves the key to their homes. The pig who's treated more than one shall clap. We're survivors who make a move in more than one. The survivors who make a move, who make a murder. Wait, how do you say? How do you say? Or survivors who make a move and murder one back. Basically, he's just dedicating. Not really dedicating, but I mean, he's just. He's just basically. Um, trying to get people to stand up for themselves. But I mean, like, in those times, you know, like, he's placing himself kind of in those times and just saying that he's not going to, if he was in those times, he wasn't going to just let anyone kill someone he cares about. He, he would get him back, you know? So. Yeah, that was it. That was it, man. Listen, I, that one was a lot more simpler, you know? And like the comments were saying in this, this one's probably very underrated, I feel like. You know? I feel like this is, if I'm not mistaken, this was more towards the end of Rage Against the Machine, too, you know? So. This was probably one of the last albums before they disbanded, you know? So, uh, but nah, that one, that one was another very decent track, you know? You know, um, man, it's just, it's just wild, man. It's just wild, the ability that, the, and the influence of their music, like how they, how they're just able to speak freely and teach us so much about the past. It's, it's actually insane. You know. Well, anyway, y'all guys, let me know what y'all thought about that one. If y'all guys want more Rage Against Machine, like I said, we've been it's been a minute since we've done a Rage Against Machine reaction. So if y'all guys want more, y'all give me some suggestions suggestions in the comment section down below. But um, other than that, thank y'all for watching. You guys enjoy. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Share this with more Rage fans. I'll see you guys next time.